the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics USSR, formally dissolved on 26 December 1991. The dissolution of the Soviet Union led to the establishment of 15 independent nations, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, Belarus, Moldova, Tajikistan, Azerbaijan, Armenia, Russia, Ukraine, Georgia, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Turkmenistan, and Uzbekistan. On the previous day, the 25th of December 1991, Soviet President Mikhail Gorbachev had resigned and handed over power to Russian President Boris Yeltsin. The dissolution of the world's first and largest communist state marked the end of the Cold War. There were various factors that led to the dissolution of the Soviet Union including Mikhail Gorbachev's two policies of perestroika, openness, and glasnost, restructuring, ethnic tension within the Soviet Union, and the Baltic Uprising. In 1985, new Soviet leader Mikhail Gorbachev began a process of increasing political liberalization in the communist one-party state. This included his two policies, perestroika, restructuring, and glasnost, openness. Perestroika allowed more economic freedom within the Soviet Union and allowed citizens to form small enterprises for profit. In addition, glasnost, openness, promoted more freedom in literature, press, and media. This allowed citizens to speak out more against the government and tolerated dissidents. However, these policies turned out to be failures, and the Soviet people suffered from poverty, hunger, and lack of opportunity. This liberalization led to the emergence of nationalist movements and ethnic disputes within the diverse republics of the Soviet Union. It led to the revolutions of 1989 which saw the toppling of Soviet-imposed communist regimes in the nations that were originally in the Warsaw Pact. Also, Baltic Uprising would eventually lead to nations known today as Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania. In addition, ethnic tension intensified all over the Soviet Union, especially in areas such as Karabakh, where Azeris committed unspeakable atrocities against the Armenians. The combination of all these factors led to increased discontent and violence which put pressure on Gorbachev to introduce greater democracy and autonomy for the Soviet Union's republics. This discontent culminated in the August coup of 1991. The coup was carried out by eight hardline members of the Communist Party of the Soviet Union CPSU, who were opposed to Gorbachev's reform program. Although successful at first, the coup eventually failed because Boris Yeltsin led an effective campaign of civil resistance. The coup collapsed in only two days and Gorbachev returned to government, but relinquished power to Boris Yeltsin on December 26, 1991. This event destabilized the Soviet Union, and is regarded as the focusing event that led to the dissolution of Soviet Union. The Soviet Union officially collapsed on December 25, 1991, which marked the end of the Cold War after 46 years of heightened conflict and tension. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, share, comment, or subscribe as it would be a great help and keep you notified of new content.